Hey guys, it's me Natty. Uh, today I have a special video for you and it's going to cause a lot of chaos but I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your guys' comments after so uh, let's get started with this video which is BJD's versus Monster High. Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences and similarities of Monster High and BJD's and some of the reasons why there has been so much chaos going on. So uh, first I'm going to introduce you guys f who are unfamiliar with Monster High or unfamiliar with BJD's um, about, like, I'm just going to introduce what the dolls kind of look like and such. So over here, I have a Monster High Create a Monster. So it's not a standard character doll. I figured this one would be easier to uh, compare with because the, it isn't a character doll and I, I can actually take it apart. <laughs> so here she is, arm joint, legs, feet. Sit her down. Uh, got a BJD. This is my boy Keith. Um, so here he is, arms, ugh, legs, eh, feet. And I have a third doll here for comparison. It is an Obitsu doll. So here he is, arms, legs, feet. So I don't have no uh, definition of obitsu, but I will talk about them a little bit. Um, but I'm going to start off with uh, talking about the definitions according to Wikipedia <laughs> of uh, of the dolls. So first up is the Monster High, and Monster High is an American fashion doll franchise created by Mattel and launched in July of 2010. Mattel has also created like Barbie, Ever After High, and all that fun stuff. <laughs> and ball jointed dolls, according to Wikipedia, is a ball jointed doll is any doll that is articulated with ball and socket joints. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the uh, differences and similarities of the dolls. So I'll start with the Monster High Create a Monster. Now the main thing is that unless you really, really want to paint, um, uh, these guys do not have customizable eyes unless you carve into the head. Um, their makeup comes with them as a default thing. Uh, for the Create a Monster sets, they have wigs, just like BJDs do. Um, with the standard Monster High dolls, uh, you cannot remove their hair. Um, I'm just going to take off her wings. She, her wings are removable. <laughs> um, so, these guys have removable pieces. They are not ball joints, though. They are just swivel joints. And I could remove it at the hand, at the elbow, and at the shoulder. And they all have the swivel joint. Um, they do not have jointed feet, but their legs are the same. They have a swivel joint here. You can move it there. And I'm not going to try removing her thigh. <laughs> um, their heads are removable with force. Decapitation on camera. <laughs> So that's the standard uh, Create a Monster, Monster High, the customizable ones. Um, BJDs, for those of you who are Monster High viewers, um, BJDs, uh, they are also customizable, though you can customize their eyes. And unless you pay for um, a face up, which is the paint on the face, then they come to you blank. Um, I already mentioned you, you can customize their eyes. You could purchase eyes for them. Wigs are removable. 
Uh, most of them have identification on them in their heads. Sorry, Keith, I'm sorry. Um, unless you are taking them apart completely, uh, they do not come apart like Monster High dolls. They have S hooks, which you could barely see, and string to keep them together. They have ball joints or peanut joints or um, socketed ball joints for their, um, for their movement. Um, here's that. Uh, torsos are usually, uh, there are some with one piece torsos, but torsos usually come in two or three pieces. Um, his legs have the uh, swivel ball joint thing that I was talking about. So there's not an actual floating piece, it's just a ball socket. Uh, the feet, same thing. But uh, yeah, so these guys are actually ball jointed and not swivel jointed. And last but not least, let's get my little Obitsu over here. And like the Monster High doll, um, these guys have swivel joints, the socketed joints. You could take them apart at any place. Um, they do have multi torsos. He has one, two, three pieces. Um, you do customize with the eyes. You have to put them in. They also will arrive blank. Uh, the wigs are interchangeable. The legs and feet are the exact same thing with the swivel part right in there. So the main actual, um, fight going on is that Monster High should be classified as ball jointed dolls. And, uh, with what I just showed you, uh, the Monster Highs are not ball jointed. They have the attached swivel, uh, pegs, I guess you could call them. And, um, meanwhile, the BJDs, according to the definition, are cast in polyurethane synthetic resin. Some of them are ABS plastic or vinyl. Um, and the parts are strung together with elastic. That is in the definition. So um, right there, Monster High is outside of the definition. Um, I guess mainly the reason why people want Monster High to be classified as a ball jointed doll is because they are cheap er, cheap er. <laughs> I'm not going to say cheap because I, I, I've, I've spent a crud ton of money on these guys. <laughs> um, they are significantly cheaper, like, um, ball jointed dolls, excuse me, ball jointed dolls can go from, uh, from like $150 all the way up to a thousand dollars and ball jointed dolls. Um, the most expensive one I've seen uh, has been $44 for a single doll. And that was one of, that's the uh, limited edition collector's Draculaura, which just came out. And I really want. <laughs> but moving on. Um, so according to the definitions as of like what I've read and what I've shown you guys, Monster Highs cannot be under the classification of a standard BJD. Now, the reason why I have my Obitsu here is because a few years ago, or a long time ago, I guess I should say, uh, there were arguments about Obitsus being classified as ball jointed dolls. Now, while the smaller ones have a peg system, um, the larger ones uh, that I've seen uh, have an interior skeleton and then outward joints, which are floating joints. And so they are a sort of combination between the peg joints and ball joints. So the larger ones have moved over to the BJD category, while the smaller ones are still classified under fashion dolls. So if you think of it that way, um, seeing as my Obitsu that I have here is really similar to the Monster High dolls, but it is not a BJD. So here we go. <laughs> um, I asked for a few opinions and um, some of my friends have messaged me 
And uh, if I could bring it up. <laughs> um, they have given me some of their opinions on the matter. And uh, my one friend Katie says, as someone who is on the outer edge of the BJD community, I don't see why people can't include Monster High dolls in the BJD world. They're obviously not Asian BJDs, uh, which is probably why a lot of people don't like them being included. Um, but have you seen the original ball jointed dolls? They're creepy as hell, but they'd still be included in the hobby or technically could be included. Now that is a really valid point um, that a lot of people in the BJD hobby are uh, very strict. They have to be made out of resin. They have to be uh, strung together with elastic. They have to be from Asia, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of, um, in recent times, there have been a lot of companies such as like Lily Cat and Freak Style, I think, <laughs> that, um, that do not work out of countries like uh, China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan. They work out of Europe and there are some in the United States like Blue Blood Doll. And they are still classified as BJDs because they are made out of resin, they are strung together, and they're fully customizable. So um, it is branching out of the whole Asian department, I guess you could say. If a group were to have an Asian BJD centered even, then Monster High dolls shouldn't be there. Uh, I, I definitely agree with if there is a BJD group that Monster High dolls can't really qualify. Um, as an admin of BJD Addicts on Facebook, uh, fashion dolls such as Monster High, Barbie, Ever After High, Reborns, and uh, they are not allowed on the page because according to definition, they are fashion dolls and not actual ball jointed. Um, then she continues, if they're holding a general BJD event, then they shouldn't ask for them to be removed. If they have a ball and socket joint, they're allowed to be there. And I've seen some face-ups on the Monster High dolls that look pretty great. Um, I do kind of, like, a lot of conventions have been adding in the Monster High dolls because a lot of BJD owners, like myself, find the Monster High dolls are really fun, they're cheap, they're right in front of you, so you can easily go and get them and customize them. But again, they are not ball jointed, they are peg jointed, and they are made out of a hard vinyl ABS plastic. And that comes to my next point, is that a lot of people say that because Hujo and Volks Dolphy Dreams, Obitsu, and a few other companies make their dolls using ABS and vinyl, but uh, some of them are still ball jointed, like the Hujo dolls. Um, they are classified as ball jointed dolls. Why can't uh, Monster High? Because they're the exact same material and blah, blah, blah. Again, it all has to do with the jointing and lack of proper customizations. Like, unless you send um, a Monster High doll to get refaced, then uh, they will come to you with an actual face up. They, um, that's how you get them out of the box. Uh, again, they have rooted wigs, unless you get one of the create a monster ones. Um, and yeah, so it's not really looking good for Monster High right now. <laughs> um, continuing on is, uh, I don't really know. Um, she says that, uh, they, Monster High would make a great alternative for people who can't buy $200 or more expensive dolls and want to get into the hobby. And I'm pretty sure Doll North has given a Monster High doll in the past, but that's her opinion. So um, I agree, they do make a great alternative, but again, um, the BJD hobby and Monster High hobby are kind of trying to merge, but the BJD people do not want it to merge and the Monster High people want it to merge. It's just complete chaos. So um, all in all, from the what I've shown you guys, 
for a BJD with floating joints strung together and Monster High and smaller Obitsus have the peg joints and thus cannot be um, classified as ball jointed doll. They are peg passion, or the, 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 fashion dolls. <laughs> They're peg jointed fashion dolls. So I'm showing you guys this again because the smaller Obitsus have almost the same joints as, well, they have more joints, but. <laughs> um, so my personal opinion on the matter is BJDs are BJDs, Monster Highs are Monster Highs. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, they cannot be the same. Monster Highs, unfortunately, cannot be uh, BJDs because of the way they are designed. Well, they just unfortunately cannot be classified because they do not meet the actual definition of being strung together. Um, I like how my friend Katie commented on the old school ball jointed dolls. And um, I'm looking at a picture right now of a German ball jointed doll that was created in 1920. And yes, that thing is terrifying, but it is strung together. Like there is string ribbon holding it together. So it can sort of be classified as a modern BJD. So yeah, um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say on the matter of should Monster High be allowed in the BJD hobby or should it be kept as a separate fandom? And people from the BJD side, why do you guys hate Monster High so much? I mean, it's cute and it's fun. Is it just the fact that they're not BJDs? So let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.